Today, we are going to be writing the formula for the ionic compound sodium dihydrogen phosphate. So let's work from left to right. The first thing I see is that I see sodium. Now sodium is on the periodic table and sodium is right here. Sodium is listed as Na. So I will write Na, that's the element sodium, and since sodium is in group one, it always is going to have the oxidation state or charge of a plus one. Now here's the thing guys, right? I see kind of two different things. I see a phosphate and a dihydrogen. Just know that you will always have two components when you're doing ionic compounds. I can't have three individual things. So if sodium is one of them, this dihydrogen phosphate has to be the other component. And since it ends in an ATE, I know that it's a polyatomic ion. Polyatomic ions are never on the periodic table. So I wrote down what dihydrogen phosphate is. You might have to memorize this depending on what your teacher or professor says, but dihydrogen phosphate is H2PO4 with the negative one charge. Now, since we have the charges of each component, all we got to do is crisscross them to just say how many of each we have. So this plus one, whoop, this plus one crisscrosses down, telling me that I only need one dihydrogen phosphate and this negative one crisscrosses down, telling me that I only need one sodium. When you crisscross, the charges kind of vanish. It's more of like a counting number. And now we're ready to just name it out. So I have sodium. I only have one of them, or I need one of them, so I don't have to write the one. And since I only need one dihydrogen phosphate, I don't need parentheses here. So I'm just going to write it out as H2PO4. And that's it, guys. We're done. So sodium dihydrogen phosphate is NaH2PO4. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. If it did, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and tell your friends. All right, tell your classmates. Thank you so much, and I'll see you later. All right, bye-bye.